What screams I peaked in high school? Still bullying the nerds at your 10 year reunion. Or worse. In real life. I briefly worked with a guy I went to high school with. And like 90% of our not work related conversations were him reminiscing about how much he'd bullied me in high school, and acting like it was all a big joke. A guy who graduated from my high school back in 2003 was arrested a few years ago for his second DUI. He was wearing his letterman jacket and his mugshot. I picked up some stuff at my parents house when I was 25. One of those things is my letterman's jacket. Put it on got in the car had to stop for gas. Who happens to be filling their car next to mine? My high school wrestling coach. I wonder how much of a loser he thought I was. I wasn't even that good. Sharing every memory from Facebook talking about the good old days and wish we could go back when it's only been a few years since graduation. Me. In a horrid realization. In the back of my 92 Camaro. While I sing that knee I blow out at the championship game senior year. Reading through the divorce papers. Sounds like a Matt Damon movie produced by Adam Sandler and the mom from Gilmore Girls is the ex-wife. Partying with high schoolers when you're 30. F. I can't imagine this. I'm 32. And high schoolers seemed ridiculously young to me after about 23. Selling pot to teenagers and then trying to get them to stay and smoke with you. I mean. I met someone who's going to be one of my groomsmen like this. Sold the kid weed and he seemed pretty cool. So we ended up smoking and playing fighting games for most of the afternoon. Still one of my best friends. Almost a decade later. Billy Joel feels compelled to write a ballad about how you and your ex were the king and the queen of the prom. How the two of you married right after high school. And how it all went to hell from there. Bonus points if your names happen to be Brenda and Eddie. We used to play indoor floor hockey in a loft room in the big gym of my middle school. One game I scored three goals. One of them being a bank shot off the wall. The next year I wrote about the game for an assignment in English class and the teacher read it to the class the next day. I'm not sure which one was my peak. Still bragging about high school basketball games from 10 years ago. But what if you score 4 touchdowns in a single game? I know a guy who still brags about middle school select soccer games. He doesn't appear to have so much as jogged since then. He's 30. Selling your pyramid scheme essential oils on Facebook. My cousin uses her daughter's birthday party to sell my grandma and dance shtai purses. Teachers who suck up to the athletes and other popular kids and ignore the less popular kids. My freshman year Spanish teacher was like that. At my high school a coach was worshipped by the girls basketball team. My first year of college it came out he had been grooming the girls since middle school, 2012. Suddenly a lot of petty fights between the girls made so much sense. As was my junior history teacher. Hated absolutely anyone who wasn't a student athlete or part of the student governor. He made this no secret. I was a nerd, was on the receiving end of that hatred. Looking back. I actually feel legitimately sorry for him now. I went to school with a girl whose parents graduated from our high school 20 years prior. All four members of their family got the school's logo tattooed. Her boyfriend still goes to the football games and reposts his game highlights on Instagram. We're all 21-22. I'll take big likes for $200. Alex. As someone who recently graduated. The students who returned to the school every time they came home from school just so people would pay attention to them. Also not sure how to explain it but the people who now posts blank screens and just text on their snapchat stories that just say things like always crazy to see who you can really trust when this happens or surprising to see who really cares about you when you need friends the most like I said I don't know how to explain it but there's definitely a correlation. Making any mention of sad or act scores. Bonus points for that IQ test you took when you were a kid online. One summer I was doing an internship and introduced myself to a fellow intern. He told me his name and sat score then asked me what my score had been. He seemed shocked when I said I couldn't remember anymore. I was like, dude, we're in grad school. I have a good one for this. 
my cousin once dragged me out to local bar that I don't particularly care for due to its reputation. But I was going through a separation and figured I could use a night out. A guy comes up to me. Clearly already drunk. And belligerently declares I've never seen you in here before. I replied that's because I've never been in here before. Him. Well I'm just saying I've never seen you here before. Me. Okay. Him. I'm John. I used to play football at the school up the road. You know the school just up the road? Up on the hill? Me. Yes. I know the school. I went to the same school. Him. Yeah. I played football there. Me. Good for you? Him. I don't remember you from school. Me. I don't imagine you do. Him. Well. I'm just saying. I played football there and I don't remember you. Me. Okay. Finally he walked away. More like stumbled away. This was back in around 2013. I graduated in 2004. He was one or two years ahead of me. So it had been over a decade since he graduated. And he was using his high school football to hit on chicks at the bar. He moved on to hit on my cousin so I pretended to be her lesbian lover to chase him off lol. She thanked me for it. Guy is a total tull and always was. High school? I peaked in elementary school and it was downhill from there. There I was. On stage in front of the whole elementary school. And I just won the spelling bee. I felt like it was the start of something great. Narrator, it wasn't. Dying before graduation. Dark. One of the few good things maybe the only good thing about the UK's usually F-ed education system is that hardly anyone, except those who have had an expensive private education, gives a F about their old school. No loyalty to the old school. Sports loyalty when at school was practically non-existent. No one. Apart from those on the teams. Usually gave a sh about how the sports teams did. No ye books. No jackets. No proms at least when I went to school. That aberration seems to be creeping in now no one gives a ref. School reunions are rare if a thing at all here. I still know and see a few of my classmates or ones who were at school when I was there. But only because they still live locally and it's not that big a place. The others I have no idea where they are. How they are. Even if they're still alive and with maybe two or three exceptions. Have no great wish to find out. At my 10 year reunion. The prom queen came wearing a tiara with a custom queen 0 3 inches sash over her shoulder. I had to go outside I was laughing so hard. But I'll be damned if she didn't rock that outfit the wild time. So. Respect. Still sad though. Back when Facebook expanded beyond college students and obliterated MySpace. There was an influx of people that had never used social media before. So for my age group at the time, 40 and over, there was a reconnection of old friends that you'd either lost contact with altogether, or haven't seen since the last reunion. It was a great time for a couple years. Because people would say let's all meet at such and such bar and we'd all reconnect. Someone threw an all 80s get together which I attended. I graduated HS. In 1986. Some dude approached me and introduced himself. Class of 81. I was in junior. Hi. He says. You probably remember me. Or at least heard of me. Because I won the talent show in 1981. With my guitar. It's funny cause it's sad. When I was in high school. This guy a year before me had a fearsome reputation. At house parties. People would fear him just by name alone. He would show up to parties with his cronies and start fights. He came from a decent enough family. Everybody wanted to be on his good side. Anyway. He graduates high school. And most of us were still in 12th grade. I remember he used to come around lunchtime to smoke with the people out front. Shoot the breeze and talk about how much fun it is to just sleep in and do nothing and have all this freedom. A couple of months of occult. 2. Why are you still here? As we awkwardly shuffled back to class. A guy graduated two years before me. In 2006, he got a job as a school narc my senior year. Basically a job that is somewhere below security. And barely a step above student. We had our 10 year reunion last year in the school gymnasium. And there he was. 
with his sunglasses on at 8 p.m. Sporting a sweet flavor saver and shorts. With his black socks pulled up to his knees. As was the fashion for all the bros at my high school when we attended. He was making his rounds. Trying to enforce every single rule that was imposed on students. Meanwhile. We are all 27-29 years old. And nobody is taking his sh. Eventually someone told him. You were a refining tool in high school. And nothing has changed. Get lost. Narc. He then started listing every girl he boned in high school. It was hard watching that guy spiral so hard while everyone was laughing at him. I worked at a fast food restaurant. I saw people daily and normally forgot their conversations. But there are always those few who stick. Here's one. The dude walks up to the worker on the left of me with three other guys and is talking to his friends about how he hasn't paid rent yet and he's having it held over his head but he knows he's going to get manager at the movie theater he works at but his bosses just don't like him. This guy looks like he's in his early 30s possibly late 20s. Definitely at least 28. The worst part of this story is when his other friend butts in and says is it really paying rent when you're just paying your mom to stay at her house. I am no expert. But I can tell he didn't know whether to be sad or angry about what his friend said. He was also probably trying to hide the fact that he still lived with his mom from his other friends.